Hello viewers, welcome to Uvolve, the channel for database and data professionals. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to do automatic or online and manual or offline update of the OEM software library. The OEM software library is a repository that stores software entities such as software patches, virtual appliance images, referenced goal images, application software, scripts, etc. In addition to storing them, it also enables you to maintain versions, maturity levels, and states of these software entities. It is one of the core features offered by Enterprise Manager Cloud Control, where both Oracle-owned and user-owned entities can be stored. Software library supports the update in online as well as in offline mode. In online mode, the library metadata will be updated daily through a scheduled job that extracts the metadata or software from my Oracle support using your MOS credentials. In offline mode, the metadata or software are downloaded to a staging location and then upload to the library using Enterprise Manager command line interface or EMCLI command. To navigate to the software library, you need to click on this Enterprise menu first, then under that provisioning and patching, and under that software library and this software library at the top is the root folder under which we have different subfolders and the folders with a lock icon there is the oracle owned entity and the others are unlocked means you can make changes and also any user defined folders will be created with an unlocked icon in this demo we are not going to cover the topics where and why we need to create subfolders and how to utilize them, etc. Instead, we will focus on how to update the software library. I have a full series on OEM 13.5 named Mastering OEM, covering many important topics for the DBS. You can watch the series using the link in the description of this video below. Also, I am using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines to do all these experiments. If you want to create your own virtual learning environment to practice Oracle, Unix, security, etc., Please watch my series on the Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines for which I have given the link in the description of this video below. So if you select this root entity or the software library parent folder, then under the actions menu, you'll be able to see different options like create folder, import, export, stage entities, move entities, etc. And out of all, we are going to select this administration option. And in this space, we'll be able to see the name, status, etc., and the location. This is important because this is a physical location in the OEM server where the software library is actually located. And I always suggest to create this directory not within the OEM base or the middleware home location so that across your upgrades or updates to the OEM version, this software library remains intact. And also you'll be able to see the associated entities, credentials, to tell space in the file system, available space, and the space used by the software library, and when the last time this software library was refreshed. The other tabs in this space, like referenced file location, catch nodes, etc., will be blank because we are keeping it with their default settings or values. As I mentioned before, the software library supports the update in online as well as in offline mode. In online mode, the OEM server must be connected to internet. The library metadata will, will be updated daily through a scheduled self-update job in the OEM. And all you need to do is to set the My Oracle support credentials for that job to successfully run. To check if the online job is successfully running, go to Setup, Extensibility, Self-Update, where we can see that the status is offline and also, the last job that ran today, July 26th, was failed. Actually, this is my test environment where I am not supplying any MOS credentials for this job to run successfully. To change the update mode to online, you can click on this offline link or you can go to setup, provisioning and patching, then offline patching. And in this screen, you can simply change the connection option to online. 
once you change this connection option to online, all you need to do is to go to setup, my Oracle support, and under that, you can set credentials, which are nothing but your my Oracle support credentials, where you'll put a username and password, and you will apply it. Now I'll go back to the previous screen again, that is provisioning and patching, then offline patching, and we will change it back to offline because we are not going to do the update on online mode. As we are discussing about the offline or manual mode here, so let's first see how we can update the software library metadata using manual or offline mode. Now, the first thing to update the software library in offline mode is to update the catalog first. And to download the catalog, we have two options. If you click on this link that points to this HTTPS updates.oracle.com download em underscore catalog.zip. If you click on this, it will start downloading this catalog. But if your computer is not connected to the internet, then you can simply copy this link and go to a different machine which is connected to the internet. And then you can paste this in the browser and you can download it. But as this machine is connected to internet, I will simply click on this link and we should be able to see the download started and the download completed. That is the em underscore catalog.zip was downloaded, which is around 30.6 MB in size. Now, all we need to do is to upload this catalog file. Now to upload, we will first choose the file that we just downloaded by clicking on this choose file button. And then we will browse to the download location. And from there, we will select the file that we just downloaded. That is em underscore catalog.zip. And then we will click on the upload button. It will take a couple of seconds to upload the contents of the catalog zip file. And it says that the catalog file has been successfully uploaded. Refresh from my Oracle support, a new job has been submitted to process the uploaded catalog file. Now, if you want to see the status of this job, click on this refresh from my Oracle support link here. And it will take you to the job details page where we can see that the job is currently running. If you want, you can set this auto refresh to every 15 seconds to get a more frequent update on the status. I will pause the video and I will resume after this refresh job is completed. So after around 18 minutes, the job got completed successfully. We can see the status. It means our software library metadata has been successfully updated to the latest releases. Now, if you go to setup, extensibility, self update, you should be able to see all these different sections in the software library has been updated. Let's take an example of this agent software. Click on the agent software link, then it will go to the details page about the agent software updates. Now you should be able to see new entries there, marking it as available. Also in the status column, you should be able to see two different statuses. One is applied and the other is available. A status applied means it is already applied to your software library, meaning it is present in your software library and ready for deployment in your environment. A status available means it is available in my Oracle support and you can download it to your software library now let's take the example of the agent software for Microsoft Windows platform. Now let's see what other versions are available for the Microsoft Windows 64-bit platform. Let's order it and we see that we have the 13.5 version available and was applied and the version 13.4 is available but it was not yet applied. Let's take this one for our demonstration purpose. Please note that it is just a test case as we already have the newer version of agent software that is version 13.5 available and already applied. So usually no one goes for downloading an older version of the agent. For the sake of this demonstration, if I want to download this 13.4 version, then I need to select this line and then press this download button. But as we are in offline mode, it is not going to download. Instead, it is going to give us the steps to download the software in offline mode. And the first step is to view the download steps, access the following URL on a host that has internet connectivity to my Oracle support. 
So let's copy this. And then as this particular machine has an internet connection, so I'll be able to paste it in a browser. If not, then you have to take it to a machine where you have internet connectivity to download this particular software as a zip file. So I'll go to this tab and then I will simply paste the link. And I see that the download already started, which is going to take like a minute or so. And we see that the download has been completed. Now let's go back to the other tab where it is giving the remaining steps that once it is downloaded, then we need to upload it to the software library. So we have two options there. Transfer the downloaded file to OMS host and run the following command, which is given below, or transfer the downloaded file to any managed host in your environment and run the following command. But there is an additional parameter where you can see the host name is there. I am going to use this first option here. But first we need to transfer this file that we have just downloaded to the OMS host. So I will use the FileZilla. Next, let's connect to our OEM server named admin server as Oracle user. Go to the temp location or file system and the zip file for the Windows 64-bit agent version 13.4 that we downloaded to the local machine and which is under download folder, I will transfer this zip file to the temp location. This file is around 795 megabytes in size. So it should be transferred in a couple of seconds and the file has been successfully transferred. Now let's connect to our OEM server and we will establish an SSH session as Oracle user to the OMS server. Let's increase the font size. And then we will go to the temp location and list out the zip file that we just downloaded. And then we will set the environment for the appropriate binaries to be used because the EMCLI has to be from the middleware home binary location. So we'll do a which EMCLI to see and it is from the middleware home location which is correct. Now we will use the command that we copied from the browser which is EMCLI import update OMS local and the file name. But wait, we cannot use this command directly without logging to the OMS. So if you are not already logged in, you have to log in using emcli login minus username equal to sysman and that will ask for the password and I provided the password and the login successful. Next, we have to modify this command to the file along with its full absolute path. So emcli import update OMS local minus file equals to this part will remain the same and here we have to provide the full path that starts with the slash temp and then up to the dot zip extension and then press enter. And this is a 700 plus MB file which is going to take at least a minute or so to upload to the software library. And we see that the, the message saying the agent software version 13.4 for Microsoft Windows 64 bit successfully uploaded to the enterprise manager. So use the self update console to manage this update. Now we will go back to our OEM console. Press OK. And then we will refresh this page. And go back to the Windows versions of the agent software where we see that the 13.4 version of the Windows version of the agent is downloaded. Now, the status of this particular software has changed from available to downloaded. Now the next thing we need to do before we can deploy this agent to any of the managed host is to apply to the software library. To do this, all we need to do is to select the line and press this apply button. And there is an informational message which says that the apply operation will only store the agent in the software library and it will be available to add to the hosts. So we are okay with that. Press OK button. And then a message confirming about the job 
which was submitted to apply the software to the software library is given. If you click on the job details link here, it will again take you to the job details page where we see that the job has been already completed. It took just a couple of seconds and it says that the agent software version 13.4 for the Microsoft Windows 64-bit platform was applied successfully. Now let's go back to the self-update page again and then go to the agent software section and then go to the Windows version 13.4 where we see that it is now in applied status. So we can see that all the sequence of the activities that was performed. First, when we updated the catalog, then the software was made available. Means it is with my Oracle support and available for download. Next, we downloaded the software from my Oracle support to the OMS and then the status changed to download. And after that, finally, we applied that downloaded software to the software library and the status has been changed to applied. So this is how we can update the OEM software library with any patches, plugins, or other software in the scope using offline or manual mode. So viewers, please provide your feedback in the comment section of the video and hit the like button if you found it useful. That will mean a lot to me and help grow this channel.